This warm drive gearbox takes a high speed input and reduces it to a much lower speed and higher torque output. Worm gears are self-locking, which means that the output is not capable of rotating the input. This can be a useful characteristic in many applications where position holding is critical or in a situation where high driving shock loads are experienced on the output side. As long as the gears can handle the load, the motor will not have to struggle to hold position. This particular design has a 40 to 1 gear reduction and uses 608 bearings to handle the high RPM. I had difficulty printing the actual worm gear due to its large overhanging angles. Using supports wasn't an option because it just left the surface too rough and it was too difficult to clean out. In the end, the teeth never came close to matching the design, so I had to experiment with different tolerances to get it to function properly. Spinning the device by hand shows smooth operation and a very big gear ratio. Using this electrical tape as a marker, it becomes easier to see just what a 40 to 1 reduction looks like. We need to do a quick rough measurement of the gearbox's efficiency. The first step is to measure how much power the motor pulls all by itself. I'm not able to calibrate this gauge, so the 3.1 watt value will be subtracted from any taken measurement. It looks like we're getting an average reading of 9.3 watts at 100% RPM or a 6.2 watt hour corrected value. Now we can assemble the unit and run the same test with the motor coupled to the gearbox. This time we get about 14.5 watt average or 11.4 corrected. This would be about a 65% efficiency, which seems way too low. So it's time to make some small changes and tolerances to try and get a better efficiency going. Remember I had a lot of trouble printing the worm gear, so the printed part isn't dimensionally accurate to the design. With the new parts installed, we get an average of about 10.8 watts, or 7.7 .7 watts corrected. This would give us approximately 80% efficiency. Given the circumstances, I think this will do just fine for now. The high-speed footage shows some vibrations at low speed. The motor rotor shaft seems to be a little bent, so that could be the primary contributor. Running at higher speed reduces the effects of the vibrations, and it feels smooth in the hand. The gearbox is roughly reducing 9,600 RPM from the motor down to 240 RPM through the output shaft. Using a 3-cell lithium polymer at 11.4 volts with a 900 kb spec motor into the 40 to 1 worm drive, here are the results. For power, using the modified gearbox components, we were able to get the efficiency to about 75%, wasting about 1.5 watts in the drivetrain in an unloaded 100% throttle state. Using the high-speed footage, we were getting approximately 240 RPM at 100% throttle through the gearbox, which at 40 to 1 would give us 9600 RPM out of the motor. In an unloaded theoretical state, the 900 kb motor should be turning around 10,260 rpm at the same voltage. So as a gut check, a 7% deviation between theoretical and measured gearbox speed seems like it's acceptable. Overall, it seems as if this gearbox was a success. The next step would be to put it into practical application to see how it holds up.